got something in today. There we go. There is our certified fuel cell. There it is. So nobody can give me any crap. I was about to say, it's been a while since I've seen it. Last time we all saw it, it was just a Kevlar shell. Boom. Look at that. It's pretty light. I'm happy with that. That's wild. Dang. What, what's that saying? Uh, toy, like a toyga? Like a glove? Yeah. Toy. I was say, he normally says like a glove. Now you're going to say toy like a toy guy? Toy like a tiger. Heck yeah, dude. Yep. Look at that bad boy. She fits. You'd say this stuff fits. Oh, I didn't think about that. It's easy to refat if I have to, but I think it's fine. Yep, yeah, that's what I got. Oh, yeah. Over, then you do the clamp. That commences the official training seminar. <laughs> Dang! What you think, Captain? Uh, grab that brace. Let's go drop that in and line it up real quick. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so we pull that sure. off to do some things, and uh, now, of course, now this shows up. So. It's gonna fit. And obviously it's not bolted in, but yeah, bud. You expecting any other well besides the fire? I, I expect I expect it not to fit every time. <laughs> because if you expect anything else, you're gonna get different. Yeah. And then the firewall will literally be like right here. Yeah, firewall's gonna be riveted to this. Yep. Sweet. So yeah, good afternoon guys. Welcome to the new day. And uh, besides the fuel cell coming in, you guys probably saw some B-roll shots of the uh, wing mounts. Yeah, those are crazy. Let's go take a closer look at that. day I got here and this is this is what uh what the envy it's looking like we've got a celebrity appearance over there in the background behind that garage door and I'll talk about that in a second but what are you doing uh, we are we had to do some uh, gusset welding we had to add some gussets I say we I mean Brian and then we ran out of filler so I had to send Brian on an emergency run um, to Cadillac so uh, so I'm just getting this stuff fit up while we can it's painted uh, barbecue grill black. Oh yeah, it smells good in here. It smells like paint fumes. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna just say that we're anticipating some high temperatures from all the braking. So, and then I'm setting up uh, caster and stuff, so that way hopefully we don't have to redo it later. Because caster is the hardest thing to change on this car, as far as suspension. Really? It's not a fun job. So. Go right there. 
So from the last that you guys maybe saw from his GoPro footage, firewall is up. Looks like looks like it fits fairly well. Did you guys have to do like a lot of adjusting or? Um, I just yeah, just kind of me measured, made it fit. It wasn't bad. So. I was about to say, you guys, if you guys remember from, or if you guys saw earlier from the episode, uh, he kind of took the uh, top piece and just laid it on top and did an outline, so it worked. I'll have to do, I gotta take a little bit off the top, uh, but it's not bad. Sounds good. I, I might not have, it might actually be perfect, but. Um, yeah, so firewall's in, plenty thick enough. Uh, you can point out the harness recesses right there. So that way you can see where the harnesses can easily go behind the tubing. So uh, probably I am going to rivet the firewall to the chassis. That way in the event of an incident, the firewall does stay on the car mm -hmm. and the rest of the car breaks off and <laughs> hopefully it doesn't go tumbling down the mountain, but I don't want that fuel cell near Paul. So yep. um, yeah, so it would suck to lose a car, but it would suck even more to lose Paul. So Cars can be replaced, Paul cannot. Yeah, you can always build more cars. This is evident of that. Evidence yeah. of that. So that's crazy to see. Like, I mean, it, I swear, it's like even if I'm not here for a day, it's like 12 hours worth of work that you guys get done, and it's like the car can either be completely disassembled or it's com almost put together. Uh, okay. Uh, almost everything's done. Oh yeah, this is this was definitely not here when I was so, here. So we built some Ys instead of buying Ys for eighty dollars or something, whatever the heck they cost. Actually, they didn't have any, so. Did some 16 to 12 Ys, because this is the oil tank. It takes two 12s for the, the refill. Um, Looking pretty. Did all that. Uh, the coolant system's basically done as well. These these go to the radiators. Yep. In there is where the, oh, actually, there we go. That's the water pump for the engine, electric water pump. Really bad lighting, sorry. That's um, how it is sometimes. This, you've seen all that yep. air shift Over here is the fuel cell. Got that in. It's not mounted yet. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing. I have ideas. But the team wants me to do one thing, and then reality is a lot different. So um, what I did before works, I'll probably do that. Fuel cell never moved in the last car. So. Well, and I remember you were saying before, uh, sometimes you just need to go with your gut feeling and you've obviously built the car once yeah. before, so do what you remember and do what feels best. Yeah, that's probably what will happen just because, yeah. Um, otherwise... Yeah, it looks, I mean... Getting there. So my goal today is to have the suspension back on, painted, axles. Uh, Sean and Ayrton came out last night. Ayrton worked on my wiring. Uh, Sean helped me take this stuff apart. We uh, nut and bolted all the brackets. You can see the paint marker lines so that way now those are tight yeah. it was cool i finally learned what that that process was yeah. so if you look down you see lines that don't line up you got problems uh we got the axle whatever those are called stubs females ready to receive the axles so uh brian's gonna finish up this it's gonna take him all day to finish that um paint it put it back together get the axles in and get like get it ready when i get that done i do have to pull the trans off one more time because there's a bolt right there that I need to put into the block. Otherwise, I did this right here. I had to add a spacer there, so that would bolt. Uh, we probably could skip that one bolt, but because this is chassis, I don't want to skip a chassis point, a chassis bolt point. So I get that. That was one thing I, I did forget to tell you guys. Uh, it was funny. I said I wanted to kind of talk about this and what it uh, what it could hold. It's you know, basically a jungle gym, actually, if you really want it to be. I did a TikTok on it, and that, uh, yeah. But it's it's really cool to see, obviously, the supports from Cox Machine. These things are heavy duty. They're they're about eleven pounds, so they're not that heavy, but they're they they take a lot of weight. Sorry, like, yeah, heavy duty, and like they're very yes. sturdy. Just clarifying. Yeah. Um, that we do have to add some additional bolt points to the chassis. So we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna take one of those rose joints, bolt it through there, and then weld. So we're gonna do that um, at some point. And then I'm gonna also go backwards with one of these and do rose joint off this. So that way, you just, you just wanna, you want no flexing with that. Because if that flexes, you hit a big bump and you're under load, it's just, whole rear of the car breaks up. You don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. So. It literally, 
like it it just seems like from a couple of days ago it looked like it was just an engine with a couple of hoses and like the turbo kit on there now it like looks like i mean like everything as far as cables you know you got your hoses like kind of hooked up i mean it just looks like it's complete we do have to i think adam's coming out tonight so we're gonna tonight we're gonna hook up the fuel system so i gotta pop these rails off uh, they're prototype rails so the machining's a little off i don't like these steel fittings so i'm going to get rid of them uh we're just gonna it looks like they glued them on so i'm probably literally just gonna cut them off and weld on am bunks so um and we'll we'll tape it off and paint it they'll look nice when we're done but so that's what we're gonna do get the fuel system plumb tonight tomorrow if we get the, if we actually get the suspension on tonight tomorrow i'm gonna get the harness in the car we do have to finish wiring several things which i it's basically down to powers powers and grounds so we got to add all those uh it's gonna take me all day saturday to get the wiring done maybe try to start up on sunday okay i'm waiting on the battery from anti-gravities or anti-gravity they're sending us a nice little motorsport battery so sweet waiting on that i might be here tomorrow or is today thursday yeah yeah reminds me i gotta order stuff today so it gets here tomorrow um so yeah it's just lots to get done so uh i gotta make the decision monday is the cutoff for the airbnb to switch if we're gonna go out there the 13th or the 18th so my gut's telling me we're not going out the 13th 12th whatever we decided so cancel that we'll save a thousand bucks well 1500 bucks on the house too so no point paying for that if we're not gonna be there yeah so back to it all right so we'll let these guys get to it i'll check in with connor in a little bit because i know he's probably working on some carbon stuff and we'll see you in a second So as you guys saw, Cody's been working on getting the control arms done, getting on the rotors and calipers and the uprights. Now that Adam's here, while well he's hiding back over there, they're gonna be working on the fuel pumping system. So Adam and Cody have kind of been trying to figure out what they need to do and where they can kind of place fittings and things like that. So they kind of got an idea. Uh, yeah, I'd say you guys got a good idea. Yeah, they got an idea. So they're going to work on it tomorrow. So we're calling it a night. So we'll see you back in tomorrow in three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 